have some of that midges behold my magnificent fire i'm out with a firebox freestyle today i bought this when they did a kickstarter it was the the two stoves lots of extra fire sticks grills etc and i don't use it that much so i thought today would be a good excuse to take it out and have a play i bought a load of wood from home and i'm gonna get some nice hot coals going and we're gonna cook some steak it's absolutely lovely being here today come down i'll show you what else i'm up to bought myself a new tent i thought i'd set it up and see what it's like while i'm waiting for the fire to die down you ready for a big reveal Ta da blends in nicely i like the color I didn't want to put you through the pain of watching me set it up. It's a tent. There's loads of other people have set these out on YouTube or whatever. So I didn't want to waste your time. First impressions. Yeah, I quite like this. It's all good. It's a bit weird with the footprint. The, um, yeah. It goes into four corners, but there seems to be rather a lot of it easy to stick out and rain to collect on it so that's something to bear in mind is a square footprint Can you see under there Hang on. let's lift you off there we are it fits under nicely apart from the corners have a look inside actually I'll tell you what let's go and cook some lunch and I'll show you inside after so today we've got a king of steaks from Aldi we've also got some veg we're on the slope that's why everything's falling off I'll put that down to the side <laughs> And we've got some noodles. The idea is that I'm gonna cook up my noodles or pour boiling water in them. It's like a pot noodle, but they're rice noodles. Pour them in my bowl. These bowls I've got from Silver Ant. I haven't really used them that much, but I thought it'd work out for this. And chuck the cooked vegetables on top slice the steak and then whack him on top as well a sort of chinese-esque meal you can see what i mean about the slope he's a big boy coat him in a bit of garlic i like a bit of garlic and i've got some bouillon powder which is like salt and vegetables so i was going to rub a bit of that on as well You can see I've taken care of the slope, almost. I'm loving this knife, by the way. This is a Victorinox knife. Looks like a butter knife, but it's absolutely razor sharp. Speaking of butter, I didn't bring any. So I'm hoping to get some juices out of the meat and fry me veg off with that. We'll see how that goes. Right, I've come up with an idea. What I'm going to do is Put the plate on there with my steak and that's after I clear a big space down in there and stick the vegetables under and I'm hoping that the juices are going to come out of that and mix with my vegetables or I could just have a big burnt mess 
Let's see what happens. Oh gosh, that's hot. It's all right, I'm divering at the moment. That's the best thing to do. Let's go in with the titanium. Let's not mess about. And on with the plate, the grill plate, and then on with steak. Oh, there's no sizzle. Ah, it'll work itself out. That seems to be going all right. I'll take that. And all I do is just keep moving them around. You get these beautiful juices going on in there. They could be stuffed in a minute because be tongs. I made a bamboo. <laughs> I must say, this whole setup with the firebox freestyle is really well thought out. Oh, nearly lost him. Veg seems to be good enough. I've got to try and rescue it some way. Oh, beautiful job. And then we get a bit more heat in that steak. Wait for it. Wait for it. There he goes. Let's have a little look at this steak. Oh, it's not bad, is it? I'll give them a couple more minutes. I don't mind a little bit. More done. Beautiful job. It's leaving the rest. And we get the water boiling again. The rest will have to go in the other bowl. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Beautiful. I'll try a piece. I've been playing that game. One for the pot and one for me. Got a little basil to finish off. Well, I'm really pleased with that, boys and girls. It looks absolutely divine. It's lovely to sit here and listen to all the birds singing birdie songs to each other. I 
I'll come back to you when I've had my lunch. Well, firebox freestyle. That worked out really well. Pleased with that. Titanium plate on top. That was a big help as well. And I really enjoyed having me lunch out of a big bowl. I think it's like an 800ml bowl. I've got another one somewhere. There we go. That's a smaller one. That's good for a reasonable lunch. I must say, when I bought the Firebox Freestyle full kit, I was a bit confused about how it all went together, but I'm starting to get the hang of it now. To pack it away and to break it down into two, you put three, with four so there's four holes there three holes there you close it in and that should line up three with four you fold them down like that and then you take if I do it that way you can see better you put out these two center pins they come apart then and go together and then You push your pins back in. I must say it was a bit of a learning curve and I'm still learning with this. But um, it's starting to get a bit easier. It's actually a really nice piece of kit. Once you get the hang of it. Ta-da! I promised you a look at my new tent nature hike the reason I bought this is because it packs down fairly small it's only 1.4 kilos although I'm going to weigh it at some point oh come on and I want to go a bit further and a bit lighter. I'm getting a bit older now as well. So there was a time where I carry loads and loads of weight on my back. And now I'm a bit old for all that nonsense. So I like to take a bit less and be a bit more comfortable. Go, let's have a look inside. Now I've heard that these have condensation issues so then you're thinking well why is he bought that if it's got condensation issues well all single skin tents they suffer from a certain amount of condensation issues so I wasn't overly bothered I've got a Lang Shang 2 I quite like that it's nice and big packs down really small but I like the idea of having a bit of pole going on and not having to take trekking poles if I don't need to. So this is it. Um, so at this end, this is nice and roomy. Got a hook there to put a light on. Big enough door. We've got an extra door on the side. I'll show you it quickly. We've got this extra door on the side to chuck your gear out. I love that idea. Let's put my boots out there if I need to. And I've got enough space in here. So that was it. Just a brief look. I've also, oh, I've also been told that the floor is very thin, which I appreciate that. Yeah, I agree. It is. But there again, tents are about compromise, aren't they? Oh, little pocket. That's nice. Tents are about compromise. 
you want a big heavy tent and you're not going to carry it on your back. Oh, beautiful view out there. I didn't want to get in completely because I'd be boots on. I don't want to ruin it. It didn't take me very long to put up. Let's see how long it takes me to put away. The time now is 4.37. Let's do this. The time now is 4.50, so that took me, what, seven minutes? So even doing that for the first time and not really knowing what I was doing, seven minutes isn't bad to put it away. I did struggle to get it in the bag a little bit, so I need to wrap it a lot tighter next time. This is what I meant by small pack size. I think that's quite reasonable. Thanks for coming along on this one, everybody. The battery indicator's in the red, so it's time to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time. Info Jet out. <laughs>